Hi there, it's Simon here. Today we're gonna to learn the guitar solo in Paul Kelly's To Her Door. Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna kick it off with the very first bar. We're gonna start on the three. So we're gonna play a G. All I've got here is a clean sound. Like on the edge of breakup, I guess, a little bit. Front pickup. <laughs> now I'm on the front pickup. Front pickup and um, tiny bit of slap back delay. So uh, we're going to play easy peasy, right? G E G E. So we've got G E G E A B. All right, so. The second phrase is and three and four and one and two and three and okay. So first two phrases three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so you'll notice the second phrase has got an extra E at the front. Phrase three and three and four and now we're going to use our third finger to slide from A to B and then back hit for number five so A to B is five to seven on the low E string then we can hit a uh, fifth fret on the A string which is a D so back down so that's that whole phrase so we get and three and four and one and two and three and okay next phrase we're going to hit that five we're going to slide to seven we're going to go five so this is and after the four so we've got three and four and one and two and three and four and Right, so what's happening there is that we're going, we're hitting a five, which is an A. Gonna slide, sorry, A with the third finger, we'll slide into B, seven. Then we can hit four fives, or four Ds. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna bend that A to B. And then we're gonna play a G. So. Next bit, we're going to go three to five. Okay, so three to five on the low E string. And then we're going to hit five, seven, five. Okay, now, then we're going to hit on the one and the two, we're going to hit the bottom part of a G major chord. We're hitting basically a G, a G, and a B there. That's not true. G and a D, yeah. So at eight and seven, we're gonna go, so. Then. Okay, so one, two. Now, you can use your third and fourth fingers there, or you could use your first and second fingers there. For me, I like, Feels normal to me. And then your third finger is gonna stay on that third, um, that third string, and you're gonna slide up. So, all the way up to 16 and 15. So you get two and three, and then on the and after the four, one and two and three and four and, Right, so we are going to slide from 8 and 7 to 15 and 16. And you hit that 1. So you get and 1. And then we're going to hit a bunch of triplets. So we get and 1. And then we get 1, 2, 3. Slide that whole thing down to 13 and 14. C and an A. And then we're going to switch around to our third and fourth fingers at the 12th fret to hit G and B. Okay. Okay, makes sense. 
and then we are going to continue to run down <laughs> not there though we're going to continue to run down and that is the last triplet so we've got an F sharp and an A so uh, 10 and 11 then uh, 8 and 9 and then 8 and 7 okay so Right, now we're kind of in G here. This is a little G. Yeah, that's a G major. So we're kind of already in the right place to play this kind of cool little lick he's got here. So, so, uh, generally with learning solos, I should have a little thing here. If it feels natural to you and it feels like it's not too hard, like initially obviously everything's going to be tricky because you don't know how to play it yet but if it feels like a natural that feels like a pretty natural thing that a, a human would do then you're in the right position uh, i've seen some uh, other videos where they want to play it, it's okay but it doesn't feel right and and i guess I also checked out some live versions of them playing in the day and is where they're playing. It's a thicker sound as well. Like, it's a bit like nye, 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 whereas this is like oh yeah, if you know what I mean. So. All right. And then we've got so we're going to hammer on from 7 to 9 on the D string because we're fingers are already there, right? Don't have to move. Don't have to move. You can do it quicker. And then we're going to hit that G, that's 8 there, and then come back down. You could do it like that, you could go with your little finger instead. Now, this bit, the more it rings over it, each, the, the notes kind of ring over each other, the better, right? So we've got... Okay, so we've got... Seven, nine, eight, nine, seven. And then you're gonna do a little hammer on in that chord. Yeah, so one, two. That's an incidental there at the beginning of that bar. So you've got one and two and three and four and. You can do a pull off there or you can play. And then we're already still in the same place. Little finger is gonna go here on A. So, like I said before, if, if you hit See what I mean? It's going to sound right, okay? So, you know, be precise, but don't be too crazy precise. Um, there you go. Oh, whilst we're here, please do subscribe and click the bell for regular lessons. There's a new one every single Saturday. I have to tell you that, of course. Now... Now we're going 10 and 7 here, yeah, and then 7 and 8, 9 and 8, and then, yeah, so, and then our last little phrase is, so we've got 10, 8, 9, 8, 8, so that's 1 and 2 and 3 and, now our last little part is four and one and two and three. Okay, so finger wise here, we're kind of we're coming out of this sort of kind of thing. So ten, eight, nine, eight, eight, three, one, and then these are both on the beat, one and two. Now you've got to make it go, yeah? So play, rest, play, rest. Now, because the last part is a bend, it's quite hard at pace to go. Uh, and at 
actually checking out the live stuff, he doesn't do that. He plays. But I found that really hard when I was trying to play that. And often I'd accidentally play a B flat instead of an A, so a six instead of a five. So what you could do, because you've got actually a bit of time in between the stops, so. Switch. And then, look at that. Which I think I might have done in the run through at the very front of the video. All right, that is it. That is how you play Paul Kelly's uh, To Her Door solo. Please do also check out the rhythm guitar lesson that I have here available on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. If you're able to support the channel, you can do that at www.patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. Plans start from as little as uh, three US dollars a month at uh, around eight, nine US dollars a month. Uh, you actually also get access to every single chart I've ever written. But if you want this chart, because I'm so nice, please just send me an email to www.simonmorell.com forward slash free hyphen chart, and I will email you the chart personally, not a bot, an actual person. So do that if you like. I will see you next time. Enjoy the solo. Cheers, bye for now.